different going into that first game because you come back at hopefully four o'clock that evening, and, and you, you know you you're, you're you're game ahead of guys. And players have talked about last year losing that game, kind of maybe had a lingering effect on the season. You feel like it's, maybe that was the case, and if you win, that can kind of catapult you a little bit. Winning helps everything. You know, and I hadn't heard the players talk about this in my experience with it, but you know, winning it helps everything. Obviously, you go out and you play well and execute well. We have as good a chance as, as anybody of winning this one next week, and uh, that's the thing that we want to make sure we're focused on. Is there kind of a challenge? Obviously, they've put up a lot of offensive numbers in the past anyway, and now with the, a new coordinator and then Frazier as the starting guys, what's the challenge like getting ready for that? We're talented. You know, you got you got Lutcher Kershaw, who's uh, he's a really talented guy. We had a big week last week, and uh, then you take that with McCaleb, uh, who's another guy who, who had a big day yesterday. I think he was he had uh, almost 100 yards rushing, and then the new back Mason. And so they got weapons uh, along the board, especially Emory Blake, who guys who show up in big games and they show up last week. So we got a big challenge uh, of going out and uh, having a really good plan for those guys because they got four legitimate <coughs> SEC playmakers. Coach, you may have talked about this already, but uh, Jackson State found some holes in the middle of the defense with the passing game. They dropped some, some passes wide open. Looking back on film, what did you see there? They should have caught the ball. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's it. I mean, it, we, you look at it. and uh, From your defense, though, what did you see? From the standpoint, you know, that, 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 that we were able to mix up coverages and show different looks. And that's half the battle. You know, you can't always play anything all the time because you become really easy to call plays against. Uh, I thought their quarterback did a great job of executing. I think we, we, need, we obviously had to do a better job of, of really maintaining and taking stress off some of those verticals. And uh, that'll be a, that'll be a big, a big job for us this weekend. Dan said y'all you know, recruited Keel Frazier and uh, kind of wondering what, what, what your assessment of him is as a quarterback. I know he's only played in one game. But. Well, I like him. I think he's a big-time athlete. He's got a, a, a strong arm. Uh, he's a guy who's very dual. He's truly a dual threat. Uh, you can run him in the quarterback run game, which they did quite a bit a year, year ago with him, getting him in the game and having a package for him. And this year you can see that he, he really feels better of, of, of throwing the, the underneath routes, and he's got a really good touch on the deep ball. So, uh, you know, he's really maturing into a really good football player. You mentioned